Hello and welcome back. Now there has been a map update, uh, but I am going to have to make some changes for some of the things to take place, mainly to do with Balin, where the BGA and where it will take, which of course is a problem which we know of. It means it means some changes, and some is good and some is bad. Now what I'm going to, obviously this, I'm going to have to start from scratch but I've obviously taken note of every single piece of equipment that I've got and the placement of mods and things like that now there have been a couple I'm gonna place this back exactly where it was I don't want there to be any advantage or disadvantage any changes I want the same field I want the same um, barn that we've got at present the only thing I'm gonna change is the placement of the aerial which caused the hole in the ground I am gonna place that somewhere else I am I there's not much room on my farm so I may I may place that if it will allow me next to that I may but only because I haven't got any room on the farm and we know it's going to destroy the ground again which is one advantage the other thing I'm going to say is the fear agri I've had a few comments about the noise levels on um it's a shame because it is I've got to be honest in FS19 there were very few even mod attractors that you could start that were really reasonably priced plus quite pokey you know quite um, forceful 180 horses under the bonnet is a massive advantage for a starting tractor but it is so noisy so the one change I'm going to make is now that we have got the Traction King which has got plenty of horses under the bonnet I know we wouldn't have been able to do the things we've done now but we sort of what I'm going to do is when I start back I am going to swap the Fiat Agri for something almost identically priced but less powerful I'm going to go for my Fent GT I am I've wanted to do it but it's it, I knew at the beginning of this it wasn't powerful enough it's only 115 horsepower um, but I am going to swap that out because now we've got the Traction King and only not because I absolutely I've got to be honest the Fiat Agri always had a few things in FS19 that I didn't like, like the speed was too slow or, and it was noisy as well, although nuts. I think I knocked my sound down really low, but I like do like people to hear the the vehicle sounds, but with the Fiat Agri it overpowers everything, so unfortunately it is with great regret, because I, this would, I think, be one of those mods I would have probably, like the Fent GT of old, as in my startup lineup if I was going to buy without the sale items that would be my choice just as I did in this one but it's noisy and if people if it's going to annoy people then I'm gonna to have to unfortunately not use the Fiat Agri I really am which is such a shame but yeah that's what I'm gonna do if it's gonna cause hassles for people and, and I, I've got to honest I've got to be honest myself in the time lapse one of them was very buzzy with the Fiat Agri and it was just the Fiat Agri going and that high pitch that when it it changes the pitch and even though I've got pitch adjustments on um, time lapse tracks it's still way too loud so yeah it is with very great regret that that will not be returning when I now the one quandary I do have is obviously we have this is it's, it's obviously this is the old save this is our equipment as is exactly as was and we've got the contracts now I'm not going to do any changes until we've done these contracts because I cannot guarantee I'm going to get these same contracts back if I do a new save um, I am going to the other advantage there is to me which is I cannot do anything about is obviously I'm going to make sure that I have exactly the same amount of money, exactly the same loan, uh, if we haven't paid that off. Exactly the same things, that, except for the Fiat Agri, which is going to be swapped for the Fent GT. That's the only sort of thing that I'm doing that's different, really. Um, yeah, it is. The other thing is, I may, if the Fent GT... Mind you, I can, no, because that's got weights in the front. The Fet GT, I may well have the front loader attachment, and I might have to swap out the stall for the one that comes with the Fet GT. I shall see price-wise how that fee, how that fares. The Sapphire will stay. That's that's still the same. So yes, that's it. Now then, with no further ado, we're going to get cracking. We're going to complete this. This will be the last voyage of 
this present lineup as is and the farm as is we are going to literally obviously buy i'll make sure obviously even starting in may and the same place of us the same amount of money i'll give away what money's over or whatever to make sure that everything's good i am going to have to obviously have to the bit of work I have got to do, which is going to take a bit of my time, is to make sure that obviously, although I'm starting in May, we will have planted and that field again with canola. So I'm going to have to do all that and that will not be shown because that's as if I'm going to be starting from here. It would be boring for people to watch that particular thing. But as people know, I do like to show everything. But with obviously this is me trying to get everything back as if we're stuck in this point in time when I after this particular session I'm going to start from scratch there is an advantage to that in in much in so much as all my equipment I cannot buy from the sales he says I will check oh, it's going to be too difficult for me to do yeah it is actually to be honest it is way too difficult so it could take forever it's just not not doable the advantage is, although I bought these things in the sales, I'm going to have the same lineup, but they're all going to be new tractors. That is an advantage. I bought one I cannot do anything about. I, well, I, with my present knowledge of tweaking XML files, I am not sure. I might be able to do it, but with my present knowledge, without doing further research, I cannot do that. I mean, I'm sure I can, but what I mean is. I cannot presently do that so that's the state of pay play even and let's just get cracking let's take our equipment first things first let's grab the crone and let's get over we're gonna do the 16 and 17 ones first and yeah what I should do as well we should get we should manually drive this beautiful machine over. The other thing is, I had a comment about uh, time lapses. Now I don't know what it means. H H H. I've look, I have googled it, and it means way too many things for me to guess what it means. So I'm not sure what the person was saying. Uh, whether it, whether he was talking about the sound level of the um, time lapse, or whether they don't like time lapses, or I, I'd love it if if you'd give me some feedback on. Um, See, obviously, some content creators do time lapse series and then standard series where they talk. Now, I like to show everything, all footage, and I've always found that if I'm going to do that, if I'm going to sort of show everything literally so that there's nothing missing from any of my sequences, unless, of course, I lose a video, which has happened unfortunately a few times. But yes, so. To, uh, to compensate for the fact that I would literally be shown every single field I did, I time lapse the field work, especially when it gets big, like say I'm going to try to do three bailing contracts in a session which would really cost, take about three hours and I condense that down to probably an hour and 10-15 minutes by doing a mix of time lapse and me speaking like now. Now I like that because obviously I, I do times five as well because I find times seven is a bit too jerky um, which yeah that's just a preference I personally like to watch the times five because it still seems to be smooth enough apart from the traveling sequences now that I think it's left here I think oh no it's we are right next to it okay so how do we get in that is the question. Let's have a look. Ooh, I didn't realise this has actually got... Ooh, okay. We are there. Okay. Now, we may as well keep it widespread because we've got a wind... We've got to um, tether anyway, so there's absolutely no point whatsoever in us doing anything else other than just chopped cut in the grass so that's the first thing i'm going to do yeah i will continue that conversation but let me just set course play going and i'll grab the next in fact what i could do let's grab the john deere set destination let's go on to the edge of the road i'm hoping it will allow me to do that let's see right now then 
know he's not moving. Oh my dear, just take, yeah, let's not be impatient, that's one of my troubles. Create job, yeah, it's got the right field. And generator, that looks about right. Headlands, let's do three. Generate. Yeah, I thought he might do that with him. Right, okay, let's start the job. Let's grab the John Deere. Right, let's always do that. Always grab that screen when I'm on it already. Right, let's literally send him on his merry way. Let's put him on the road and see if this time he can do it. Yeah, so, um, I hate that, you know, when you never get old, you always forget where you were in a conversation. Right, anyway, let's just crack on it, it'll come back to me. Set destination, let's do the edge of that road. Oh, okay. Let's try on the road itself then. What? Oh, do you know? Okay. Yes, there have been a lot of updates on the map and say some of the things that we want to do, especially with this, the bailing being one of the massive things on this, yeah, I need to do a new save. So, yeah, that is going to impact us quite heavily. Just try and track back to what I was saying. Gone way past that. Oh, I'll try it. will come back to me. Either that or I'll look in editing. Yeah. Yeah, but, ah, that's right. What I was asking for in a more simplistic way is please let me know in the comments if you prefer something to be either time-lapsed or talking or whether it, it is better to do the mix that I'm trying to do myself presently where I, I think my... I always tried, I must admit, my favourite content creator has exactly the same view on me. That doesn't mean to say that obviously what we both find interesting is the same but I do think I would always want to be watching content that I would watch myself and I try to create content and have a in my edit and I always look and think which is why I've always opted for the fact that I do like to show everything that's something where I do differ from other content creators where uh, like Mr. CDP he will uh, whisk things in and out that you don't ever see and he will not show all of his what he will show what he thinks you should see uh, and that's not I'm not trying to insinuate anything that is just the way he does he's a storyteller as well which I, I like his style but it's his style not mine I like to always have like to start from scratches where I build from absolutely pretty much nada or very little I mean it has been nada sometimes literally just me and no money and that has to be done through contracts obviously yes um, I think it's more it's your farm then but I mean that does present problems because new farmer often gives you quite large advantages uh, there's certain things missing in start from scratch vehicles um, it is a massive disadvantage because if you if you were to sell I mean, I've done this on Erling Grats. I've had a start from scratch where I moved the farm completely, sold everything on New Farmer, obviously. Sold every last little thing, and it gives you about a million and a half in money. And then you can buy pretty much what you like. And that is amazing. You can do that on pretty much any New Farmer, really, where you can move your farm, entire farms, have a startup lineup that's amazing. So yeah, uh, start from scratch is nothing like that. You literally have got no fields, no nothing. Three hundred thousand, which is definitely yours, and everything else is, yeah. I mean, there's uh, I've had to use sales um, to try to um, compensate from the fact that there's no way I could. Right, yeah, he's right. Let's open the generator. That looks about right. Three. Headland's the same as him. I want him to pretty much start from the same place and hopefully the lines are going to be roughly the same. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Otherwise they're going to bump into each other. Now then. Go. Okay. 
You're having a laugh. You can't reach that place in front of you. Let's try that again. Ah, is it because the big M is on the... There's not that much, I don't think, left to do. I did this as any trouble, isn't it, when you've got a field that's sort of... Let's get that top bit done. Might set, set a standard worker on to be a little bit... And we'll do the same with the windrow. I'll actually do the as outer rounds. Yeah, I never thought of that. It's one thing I didn't really think of that this field is. Let's do one head under the top. Yeah, this is going to cause us some issues, this with it being really is. If we own the farm, of course, we could actually sell that, but yeah, we don't, so it's just tough. Alright, let's just... I'm just going to make this a little slightly different and get rid of this weird bit here. So they do hate triangles, normal workers stop on the uh, short side or the long side yeah if they'd like squares or even rectangles but they've got to be yeah they don't like weird edges they can sometimes fool them and there's no field there so right let's try and get this right so a normal worker and then we should start and we'll do the same with the um, Tedder. It's just going to slow us down somewhat. I am literally going to say my words in a minute because there's a lot of work to do. But yes, please, my question is, let me know what you think in the comments about whether um, Frithgar, another content creator I watch, he does complete time lapses where he puts text. Now, I'm not a big fan of that type of thing, but nevertheless, his... Let me just set this going. His watches, his... Um, subscribers and viewers they actually like his um, time lapses where it's just a time lapse series and he's also got series like this where he just chatters all of the time literally all of the time and shows everything please let me know if you think that is a good or a bad thing where you just literally show everything you know without any just chatter all the time so I really would like to know what everybody else thinks just because I don't like something doesn't mean that other, many other people, you know, they may well like something like that. So I'm just going to do a head and then I'm going to set this work going. Then we'll go get the rest of the equipment. I think what we'll do is we'll stick simple islands, bypass islands for that. Uh, with the, not just, Well, it is only the, is it a food trough or is it a water trough? food trough but whatever it could be straw as well it's more like a straw trough if I'm honest yeah we'll put simple islands on and we shall set the windrower and the baler just do one headland all the way around and then I shall set the worker going it's a traditional worker yeah and then once we've started it's all going we will Literally, in fact, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start to time lapse it now. You know what I'm doing. Literally, gonna try to get these three contracts sorted. Um, I've said about what we're gonna do. Obviously, about the certain elements of the change I've got to make because of the save game, where I'm unfortunately gonna be trading up from second. But and I say that from a cheating perspective. I really do feel strongly about cheating, but I cannot, as of my knowledge right now, swap new things for old so it's the only disadvantage I've got presently but yeah that's what I'm going to do so after this session when we've done all of the bailing you will all of my equipment will be new so if I ever go in the garage and you think oh he's got new equipment that's why it's not because I'm cheating it's because the only option I've got to make this work because of the save game Fantastic. We should set him going in field 16 in a minute. Right, anyway, without any further ado, I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Wow, now then, that was... God, that was fraught with problems. <laughs> Field 16 was a nightmare. I didn't clean up that very well. I, I really didn't realise that it left such a mess when it uh, didn't finish the bailing. Can't finish the bailing when it really hadn't finished properly. There were crashes and all manner of malarkins going on. So yes, I shall. Uh, so this is the last you'll see of this exact setup. When I reload this next time I shall have the same amount of money unless of course I choose to spend a little bit on like Fent GT platform malarkeys and all the rest of it so yeah there might be a bit of but the money will be exactly right with what I should have I'm hoping to have exactly what I have now the setup was apart from Fent GT instead of Fiat Agri it is still so noisy it really is yeah right anyway I'm not gonna muck around I'm literally I've got a lot of work to do to reset this up once we've done a fresh save and then redone all the equipment and blah 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 and replanted the thing and ended us on the month of May. So without any further ado, I hope you're gonna continue on this journey with me. It is it was a tough session, it really was. Massive, but yeah, anyway. It's over. It's finished. So without any further ado, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. And uh, I hope that you are going to continue on this journey with me. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.